Hello everybody, my name is Janet and today I will be telling you how to stay healthy slash happy during Ramadan. I myself am not Muslim so I don't really, I'm, I'm not really an expert on this. I did get this out of my research from online. Um, I did forget which online, which website I went on so that's gonna be, I don't know if that's gonna be a problem though. Um, but the first the first thing to stay healthy was to stay hydrated dehydration can cause undesirable side effects on people with chronic diseases such as constipation headaches dizziness tiredness and dry skin in secret cases of dehydration you might have such more serious complications like kidney problems and seizures try drinking fluid fluid several times a day throughout the night even if you aren't feeling too thirsty there's the thirst the signal of your body that your body is already dehydrated moreover eating meals in high salt and hot spices may increase thirst and the body's need for water therefore eating such foods are not recommended at the pre-dawn meal as they may cause extreme thirst during fasting oh like i'm thirsty right now um The second thing was to not, I don't know how to pronounce it, hopefully I don't mispronounce it, but if I do, I'm like really sorry. Do not skip sehi. As the saying goes, breakfast is the most important day of the meal. During Ramadan, it becomes even more important. Although skipping sehi to have uninterrupted sleep may sound unappealing, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Skipping sehi belongs to the fasting period as your body will need to rely on the previous meal to provide you with all the nutrients and the energy until iftar due to the longer hours of fasting you are more likely you you are you are more likely to feel dehydrated and tired during the day furthermore skipping said he also encourages overeating and, and during iftar which can cause unhealthy weight gain the second thing right now the second thing is to no not second third thing is to avoid sun during fasting if your job requires you to be outdoors limit your exposure during the day to take and take breaks prolonged exposure to higher temperatures makes people vulnerable to heat stress a condition where the body is unable to regulate the temperature um that is all i could find well, yeah, that's what I, I could really find, like, the ones that, like, actually made sense and the ones that I could pronounce the more, the most, so, um, yeah, that is how to stay healthy during Ramadan, um, bye!